Peter Rabbit Mystery Thief. One sunny morning, Peter and Benjamin hopped stealthily through Mr. McGregor's vegetable garden, scooping up radishes. Suddenly, Peter Rabbit stopped in his tracks, twitched his nose, and pricked up his ears. I can hear Mr. McGregor, he whispered. Let's hop to it. Peter tore off through the vegetable garden with Benjamin close behind. Their mouths were full of stolen radishes, and Mr. McGregor was hot on their heels, shouting, Stop, thieves! Just in time, the bunnies spotted a secret escape tunnel dug many years before by Peter's dad for just this kind of emergency. They dived inside. Whew! puffed Peter as they shot out of the other end, closely followed by one, two, three, four juicy radishes. Good thing your dad dug that tunnel, said Benjamin when they were safely back at Peter's house. I hope you two haven't been up to mischief, Mrs. Rabbit said. Of course not, Mom, said Peter innocently. The friends decided to search for somewhere else to eat their radishes. Rushing along the path, they met Lily Bobtail on her way to Mrs. Tiggy Winkle's laundry. Look what we've got, Lily, whispered Peter. Radishes, gasped Lily. We need somewhere secret to eat them, added Benjamin. I know just the place, she said, tucking them safely in with the washing. Come with me. Mrs. Tiggy Winkle's laundry, high up in the hills, was the perfect secret place to eating the radishes. Let's get munching, said Benjamin, rubbing his tummy. Peter sniffed around for the secret radish stash. Oh no, all the baskets look the same. After some secretive searching, three radishes were found, but there was one missing. Do you think we dropped it? asked Peter. Or do you think someone took it? The three hungry rabbits retraced their steps in case the radish had dropped out on the path. There's no sign of it, said Lily. It must have been taken by a mystery thief. We need a tip-top place to eat the rest, said Peter. And it doesn't get much tip-toppier than way up in the squirrel camp. Rabbits are brave, rabbits are brave, Benjamin whispered to himself. Flippity floppity flee, three rabbits in a tree, sang silly squirrel Nutkin when the rabbits arrived at the top. Reaching down, he snatched the radishes and started juggling with them. Hey, Nutkin, called Peter desperately, careful with those. But it was too late and the precious radishes went whizzing past him toward the ground. A good rabbit never gives up, called Peter, swinging down after the radishes as fast as he could. Lily and Benjamin were more cautious and followed close behind in the elevator. The radishes landed in the grass a hop and a jump away from Lily and Benjamin, but by the time they scampered to find them, there was only one left. Had the mystery thief taken the other two? Just as they had decided to split the remaining radish, Peter felt his fur tingle and spun around. There stood Mr. Todd, licking his lips. As the wily fox came closer, Peter spied an unusual rock, a rock he'd seen drawn in his dad's journal. Quick, everyone! Jump on that rock, said Peter. As the rock lifted off the ground, Peter tossed the radish at Mr. Todd, shouting, You can have our last radish, but you can't have us. This was what Dad used to outfox that fox, laughed Peter, as the magical rock shot away and surfed across the grass. Good old Dad. Back at the burrow, Cottontail was waiting to greet the tired and hungry bunnies. Hello, Cottontail. What have you been up to today? began Peter. And what's that delicious smell? added Benjamin, cheering up a little. It smells like... No, it can't be. Radish soup, cried Peter. Yes, Mrs. Rabbit smiled. Clever Cottontail found all these radishes. Peter, Benjamin, and Lily gasped and then laughed. 
Well done, Cottontail, giggled Peter. Good scavenging. Did you guess the mystery thief?